estimation of one room with center line method. Guys, this is Sami and you are watching Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Guys, today topic is very interesting related with quantity survey. As you know, nowadays many civil engineering students, they are studying and some students, they are working on construction sites. So they are confused how to estimate one room with the help of center line method. So today I will clear your concept with as you way. And the topic is estimation of one room with center line method. So let's start guys. Therefore, the video will be little long, but it's very important and I will guide you today in this interesting video. So let's start guys. As you know guys, this is the uh, plane of one room, which size is five by four meter. This is the plane, plane of room. And this is the section. Section for this room. Guys, length of the room is 5 meter and its width is 4 meter. And guys, you can see its section. Here in foundation to the ground level, this is 90 centimeter. How? Guys, you can see here. Width of the foundation is 90 centimeter and first stage, which depth is 30 centimeter. Second step, which is 60 centimeter. Depth is 30 centimeter. This is the section for this plan. Okay. And third step, we have width 50 centimeter. Depth is 30 centimeter. So from base to the ground level, we have totally what? As you can see, this is also ground level so 30 plus 30 plus 30 so it become to the ground level 90 centimeter right and here guys you can see in four step this is the uh, you can see this is the plane level okay which is 40 centimeter and depth is 60 centimeter and guys here you can see this is superstructure and superstructure guys you can see height of the height of the wall is 3.5 meter or height of this uh, room is 5 meter now guys you can see this is the uh, it's uh, this is the total width okay and uh, this is center line method so therefore this is from here to here its width is 30 centimeter and also this is 30 centimeter okay so first of all we required center line length okay length of center line total length of center line okay so how we can calculate total length of center line so guys you can see here total length of center line or uh, i will write here okay so first of all i will also tell you what we required for what we will calculate the quantity the first one earthwork and excavation first of all we will find the quantity of earthwork and excavation second concrete and foundation concrete and foundation then third brickwork and foundation so brickwork should be found here in these steps okay and fourth brickwork and superstructure right so we will calculate the quantity for these descriptions okay so here first of all i require the total length of center line okay so how we can calculate guys you can see length total length of center line i will find total length of center line okay that is as you know guys we have 5 meter the length of room so one wall is this one and the other wall is this one so two long wall so two multiply as you can see guys from this center line so guys you can see here this is the center line here this is the center line and also this is the center line so guys you can see the clear dimension of the bedroom uh, the room is 5 meter but this is 15 centimeter this is okay so from here to here this is 15 centimeter so one side 15 centimeter and other side 15 centimeter as you can see this okay to the center line this is also 15 centimeter so it become 15 plus 15 so it become 30 centimeter so 5 plus 30 15 this and 15 this so it will become 5.3 meter 
then plus okay this is for long wall now we have short wall guys you can see the width is 4 meter so 15 centimeter to this center line distance to this center line and 15 to this center line okay so it become 4.3 meter okay so again 2 multiply 4.3 meter right so now i will find the total length of this center line so guys you can see 5.3 multiply 2 so it become what 10.6 okay so i will do calculation so 2 multiply 5.3 so 10.6 it become 10.6 plus 2 multiply 3.4.3 so it become 8.6 okay so 8.6 so the length of center line is total length of center line become 19 point okay 10 plus 10 10.6 meter okay so 10.6 meter plus 8.6 meter so it become 19.2 meter this is the length of total length of center line so now we will calculate the quantity of earth earthwork and excavation for this length concrete and foundation brickwork and footing brickwork and superstructure right so let's start guys as you can see first of all uh, in these columns we will uh, make a column for item number second description third numbers fourth length six five uh, breadth and uh, seven height and eight are a uh, seven quantity okay so guys item number one okay we need to calculate earthwork and excavation so here we will write earthwork and excavation so how many numbers we have we have just one number for this room okay so right here one so what is the length okay as i calculate to multiply 5.3 one side plus 2.3 other side so we have also two walls so 2 multiply 4.3 and 5 5 meter wall so 2 multiply 5.3 as i uh, find 19.2 so right here 19.2 meters 19.2 meter okay so now what is the breadth okay so that is guys you can see which is 90 centimeter which is 90 centimeters so convert it to the meter so it becomes 0 0.9 meter right what is the height for excavation guys you can see so we should do the excavation from the bottom to the ground level so to the ground level we have the total depth which is 90 centimeters so to the ground level so right here 0 0.9 0 0.9 meter so what is the uh, total quantity for the earthwork and excavation for this room so just do calculation 9.2 19.2 okay multiply 0 0.9 multiply 0 0.9 so guys it become 15 point 15.55 meter cube or cubic meter okay because these are three dimensions okay now guys we required to calculate the concrete and foundation and second we required concrete and foundation so right here second concrete and foundation okay guys this is very easy just watch the video from start to end we have one number the length is same also for the concrete work and foundation that is 19.2 okay and what is the breadth breadth is same 90 centimeter which become 0 0.9 meter and what is height guys you can see the height is here for concrete we have nil concrete with 1 for 8 ratio okay so which is 30 centimeters so it become 0 0.3 meter so what is the quantity 19.2 multiply 0 0.9 multiply 0 0.3 so it become 
5.18 meter cube. This is the quantity of concrete in foundation. And third, we required brickwork and foundation. So right here, guys, third, brickwork and foundation. Right? So guys, we have one number. How? As you can see, now we will get start from here. Brickwork in foundation. Right? So guys, what is the length? And first step, this is step number first. Okay, so right here, first step. First step. So one number we have, length is same, 19.2 meter, and breadth is here, 60 centimeters. So right here, 0 0.6 meter. Okay, and what is the depth? Depth is 30 centimeters. So right here, 0 0.3. So calculate the quantity of brickwork in first stage okay so 19.2 multiply 0 0.6 multiply 0 0.3 so it become 3.45 3.45 meter cube okay our cubic meter so now brick work and second step to the ground level okay so here we have the second step number is one okay Length is same, 19.2. And breadth is here, guys, you can see, 50 centimeter in second step. So, 0 0.5. And depth is same, again, 30 centimeter, which become 0 0.3. So, what is the total quantity? 19.2 multiply 0 0.5 multiply 0 0.3. So, it become 2.88 cubic meter, or meter cube, right? Now, guys, we have the plinth. Okay, above the ground level, we have the plinth. Okay, so right here for plinth, quantity of plinth. Okay, again, one number. Length is same, 19.2. Width is 40 centimeters, so right here, 0 0.4. Depth is 60 centimeters, so right here, 0 0.6. What is the total quantity again? So the total quantity become. 19.2 multiply 0 0.4 multiply 0 0.6 so it become sorry 19.2 multiply 0 0.4 multiply 0 0.6 so it become 4.60 cubic meter or meter cube so now guys what is the total quantity of brickwork okay so guys, this is for excavation. So the excavation will be separate from this. Okay. But here, concrete and foundation is separate also. And brickwork is here. Guys, 3.45 plus 2.88 plus 4.60. So it become 10.93 meter cube. This is the volume of brick and cubic meter okay now guys we required what brickwork and superstructure so in four item we have fourth item brickwork and superstructure as you can see guys before this we did brickwork and foundation because uh, that was here uh, here in this first stage, second, third, it was in foundation, but this is in superstructure. Guys, guys, you can see we have one number. Length is same, which is 19.2. So right here, 19.2. Here, guys, you can see the breadth is here, and this superstructure that is 30 centimeters. So it becomes 0.3. And height is here, guys. You can see 3.5. So right here. 3.5 so what is the total quantity of brickwork uh, in cubic meter it become 19.2 multiply 0 0.3 multiply 3.5 so it become 20.16 cubic meter or meter cube so what is the brickwork quantity volume of brickwork so 10.93 plus 20.16 so it become 
10.93 plus 20.16 it become 31.09 meter cube or cubic meter this is the volume of brickwork and this is the volume of concrete and this is the total excavation for this one room which length is 5 meter and its width is 4 meter so guys this is the method for estimation of one room so the same formula you can use for two bedroom three bedrooms are for your project and the method is central line method guys central line method is very best to find the quantity of different materials for building so guys if you have any question about this video so you can comment but if this video is helpful for you so don't forget to like this video thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye